So today we're going to talk about a few key differences between chemical and mineral sunscreen. What do those terms even mean and why should you care? Let's find out. So there are two main kinds of sunscreen, chemical and mineral. They each work in a unique way to protect your skin from the sun. Chemical sunscreens kind of trap UV rays, whereas mineral sunscreens reflect them. In other words, mineral sunscreens are like armor and chemical sunscreens are like witchcraft. But the science behind these products is not the focus of today's video. I want to tell you about three things you should keep in mind whenever you're shopping for sunscreen. The first has to do with your eyes. If you aren't a big sunscreen user yet, you may not realize that some sunscreens can be really mean if you accidentally get them in your eyes. And in my experience, mineral sunscreens are far more friendly in this regard. I understand this point may seem trivial. Maybe you use sunglasses to protect your eyes. Well, even then, if you have chemical sunscreen on your hands or on other parts of your face and you rub your eye, it can hurt. And I rarely run into that problem with mineral sunscreens. The second thing to keep in mind when you're shopping for sunscreen is that the chemical variety can ruin your clothes. Now this isn't the case for all chemical sunscreens, but I have definitely lost some shirts to them. There was like a year long phase that I went through where I didn't really realize what was happening at the time, but the sunscreen that I was using was staining the collars and sleeves of my white shirts. It was staining them orange. And eventually I figured out what was going on and started using mineral sunscreen anytime I was getting close to clothing and no more orange teas. So you're probably wondering, why would I ever use chemical sunscreen? It sounds terrible. Well, do I have the plot twist for you? That's right. It's time for the third and final point, application and aesthetic. Chemical wins. That's right. Chemical sunscreens usually look really good on your skin. On the other hand, mineral sunscreens can be really chaotic. They can leave what's called a white cast. They can get stuck in your eyebrows, or as I like to call that, the eyebrow problem. They can make your beard look blue when you turn up the saturation. It's just a mess. So now you see the dilemma that I face on a daily basis as a sun care advocate. I wish that I could just tell people, oh, get this kind, it's perfect, but I can't. The kind of sunscreen that you're going to want to use is going to depend on the situation. For example, if I'm just going on a walk and I don't really care how I look, I might use a mineral sunscreen and not worry so much about getting it on my clothes or around my eyes, but if I'm going to a red carpet, I might carefully apply a chemical sunscreen, throw on some sunglasses, and go. So it really just depends. So yes, chemical and mineral sunscreens work in different ways and have a few important differences you should keep in mind. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is that you're using sunscreen and protecting your skin. The purpose of this channel is to help you see the importance of sun care and help you to find a sun care routine that you'll enjoy and more importantly, stick to. As we learned today, it can get a little confusing sometimes, but together, I think we can figure it out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.